through this short film. Ooh, dating. Sorry, Sephira, but not that kind of dating. So what is uranium dating? Let's have a quick look. Uranium dating is a form of radioactive dating. It's used to find out the age of igneous rocks. Igneous rocks consist of uranium that has a long half-life. Uranium gradually decays into a stable form of lead. The proportion of uranium to lead can determine the age of the rock. This is an igneous rock which I found under the volcano. Don't worry, I didn't fall in. This is why you should go to trips with Miss Santos. It's really useful, you know. The decay of uranium involves a series of decays. First, uranium decays to thorium and then to lead. Uranium thorium is another part of uranium dating. In this decay process, an alpha particle is released. The decay of uranium to thorium involves a parent nucleus and a daughter nucleus. The parent nucleus is uranium-238 and the daughter nucleus is thorium-234. Now we're going to take you through a short story on how uranium decays. Story time! Upon a time, there were two non-identical twins, uranium-238 and uranium-235. Uranium-238 grew up to become lead-206, whilst uranium-235 grew up to become lead-207. Now we are going to talk about the step-by-step -step decay of uranium to lead. Firstly, there is 100% uranium present. After one half-life, there is then 50% of uranium left and 50% of lead. After two half-lives, there are 25% of uranium and 75% of lead. After three half-lives, there's 12.5%. 5% uranium left and 87.5% of lead. We hope you have learnt a lot from this video. Thank you for watching. What a perfect way to end a perfect film. Mathisha, who said this was perfect? Check this out. The decay of uranium to thorium involves a daughter nuclei and a... <laughs> we hope you have learnt a lot through our video. Oh, what the mirror! <laughs> oh.